So what's up everybody, this is Peter aka Coding Made Easy bringing you your second Windows programming tutorial. Now in the last tutorial you guys are probably like, oh come on man, like we got nothing done, we just made a main function. Well, uh, that was vital to kind of explain to you not just what these different things mean but to kind of show you how Windows programming works. There's, there's still integers and all those stuff still exist, but um, they are masked with these type defs and these defines. And it's important for you to know that so that you guys don't get confused with these different things. But in this tutorial, we're actually going to get something shown. Uh, it might not be the uh, something amazing, but we're actually going to get something on the screen or whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to be creating a message box and a message box is um, a message box like I don't know well okay basically a message box is basically a box that displays say a warning message or an alert message or something you can say a welcome message if you want and you can make it say whatever you like to say. So if we type in message box. Uh, we see there's a bunch of different options and you're like, okay, which option do I use? Well, we're going to use message box A and that's the answer message box a box ASCII and, and so we can type in ASCII text into it. No problem. So now we see a lot of ugly, um, ugly names or ugly types and we're like, okay, what does this mean? So, uh, mo no, most of the times in window pro Windows programming, when you see a capital H, that means handle. So this stands for handle to a window. So there's a difference. This is a handle to an instance, and we have a handle to a window. We can have an instance. We can have an instance without a window, but we cannot have the window without the instance. Okay. So right now we don't have a window displayed or anything. So it says okay. What 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 this is gonna say is if we have a if we have a window this is gonna put our message box within our window, but right now we don't have a window so you can either put null or you can put zero. I would get used to doing zero because I heard that they might be getting rid of the null keyword sooner or later because null is essentially zero. That's all it is now. And uh, now we it just asks us for the text. So I think that's a long pointer to a C style string. And uh, all we just need is a text in our message box. So just say, I'm awesome. Just just tell yourself that you're awesome. We're going to say, I'm awesome. And we need a caption for our message box, kind of like the, the title or whatever. And we're going to say, we're going to say, awesome message box. Now for the uint type, we're just going to leave that as zero for now. And we're just going to run, run this. And as you can see, it says, I'm awesome. And it says, awesome message box as a caption right there. And we see the text right there. And we can either click this or the OK button to exit. So the first parameter, we knew that that's the handle to the window. This is the text inside the message box. This is the caption. But what is this? Well, if we run this again, we notice that we have an OK button. But what if we want to have um, a yes and a no option or a okay and cancel and yada yada yada. How do we have different, how do we get different options? So if we go over here um, and we put a comma, it says a U int, uh, it's U type. And U int stands for just a shortened version of unsigned integer. So what we do is we do MB, which stands for message box, and we click underscore. And we have a, um, a bunch of defines here that um, that can really help us out. So let's say we, well, the, by default, if we hover over here, um, we have the OK button. And if we just put zero, it will display OK. We can put OK cancel, which will give us the OK option, the cancel option. So if we were to run this, we see I'm awesome, okay, and cancel. And we have other options as well. MB, uh, we can do underscore yes, no, or yes, no, and cancel. And we can do a bunch of different things. And we can also um, add in other stuff as well. 
So by using the bitwise operator, we can add in uh, certain things, and we can add on certain i we can add on certain icons. Sorry, to our message box. So say for example, you had a you were asked them a question, or there was a warning, or something, or like so you're giving information or something. What you can do is we're gonna put MB icon information. So we're saying okay, this is yes, no, and cancel. And we're gonna put the bitwise operator, which is gonna say, okay, we're gonna put this and this in. And uh, when we run, we get, sorry, we get the icon right here. We get yes, no, and cancel options, and yada, yada, yada. And we can do that for as much, as many options as we want. But, oh, uh, this message box is kind of useless, right? when we click yes no or cancel what what's it's, nothing's happening we don't know what's going on and so what we're going to do is we're going to make a constant int and we're going to call it results and our our message box is going to give us a certain result i'm going to just delete this right here the the information just so you guys can see it so we want it so that when they select certain options we can do certain things and so what we're gonna do is we're going to make uh, we're gonna make a switch statement and we're gonna put the results in there. So the message box returns an integer, I believe, or something of that type. Yep, it returns an integer, and as as you can see, it has the the macro double double underscore std call in there. Just so you guys can observe that if you guys want to. So we're gonna put the switch statement in there. We're gonna put case and we're gonna say id. So now we can do certain things to check if something happened. So if we want to check if the yes button was pressed, we're going to say ID yes. So if they select the yes, we're going to, um, we're going to put a message box. And we'll say you clicked yes. And uh, whatever, we'll, we'll just call it message box. And we'll put zero because we just want them to click OK. And if they click no, we say ID no. And we'll say message box A, you clicked no. And we can do the same thing for cancel, but we already, I'm pretty sure you guys get the gist of it. So let's just remove this. So let's test this out to see if this actually works correctly. So it says I'm awesome. It says yes. You clicked yes. We click OK to cancel. And let's see if it works for no. It says I'm awesome. Click no. It says you clicked no. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And bye for now.